On this episode of Cook with Delight, we're going to make batter fried kingfish and this is a very delicious recipe and it involves three stages. We're going to start off by marinating the fish with some spices, lime juice and garcinia and then we're going to coat the fish with some batter and then uh, bread crumbs. Then we're going to deep fry the fish. You can also shallow fry this. I also go for baking. So now let's look into the ingredients for marinating the fish. You would need 500 grams of thinly sliced kingfish, 1 teaspoon of brown pepper, 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon of chili powder, 1 teaspoon of salt, 1 tablespoon of lime or lemon juice, some pieces of garcinia or gorica. So start off by adding in your spices, namely the turmeric, chili powder, pepper and salt and marinating your fish. You can use tongs to coat your fish but I'm using my hands in this case. As it coats well on the fish as you can see. So once the fish is marinated with the spices, I'm going to add in the tablespoon of lime juice followed by the garcinia or gorica. Adding the lime and garcinia removes the unwanted odor out of the fish which many don't like and once that's done I'm going to pop it in the freezer for 20 to 30 minutes until the fish is well marinated. Meanwhile I'm going to prepare the ingredients for coating the fish. So for coating the fish you would need 2 tablespoons of all-purpose flour with some water, about 3 tablespoons, 1 cup of breadcrumbs, 1 fourth of a teaspoon of turmeric powder, some curry leaves chopped, 1 teaspoon of salt, 1 teaspoon of pepper. Start off by adding in your chopped curry leaves to the flour, followed by the spices, turmeric, salt and pepper. Now add in about 3 to 4 tablespoons of water while whisking the flour to prevent any lumps. You should obtain a thick paste, not too runny but a thick um, paste. I have taken the fish out of the fridge. This is the batter and this is the bread crumbs. So I'm taking um, the fish one by one as you can see dipping it in the batter first so that it coats all sides and then placing it in the bread crumbs and turning it either way around um, for about several times until the fish is well coated with the breadcrumbs along with the edges so as you can see this is the coated fish I'm going to do one more so first start off with your batter and then the breadcrumbs you toss it for about several times and then leave it to fry now I've prepared a pan um, with about quarter a cup of oil. You can also use um, less oil if you require. And once the oil is hot, I'm adding the fish one by one. Don't overcrowd your pan, just if it depends on the size. So in this case, I'm only using four fish at one time. Now once one side is fried, it will take about two minutes if you're using medium to high heat. Then turn the fish upside down so that the other side also gets cooked well. You can also bake the fish if you wish without um, oil um, because it will be a more healthier option. And you can also go for this. So I've, one side of my fishes are cooked well now, 
and now I'm turning the other way around to see whether uh, it's completely cooked. When the fish has turned brown on both sides, I'm going to take them out of the oil and drain the excess oil uh, off with a tissue or a paper towel. So this is my cooked fish as you can see. Please do like this video if you liked our recipe and if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel Cook with Delight. Thank you for watching this video.